This is 21st century, an era of modern technological advancements in the world. However, this century also witnesses hunger, drought, disease, displacement, and attack on World Trade Center. And as its result, bombing on civilian Afghanistan and Iraq, and brutalities waged by the states. Underdeveloped countries are the worst sufferers. Most of the critical examples come from South Asia. Pakistan, a South Asian country with a population of 140 million, speaks of miseries manifold, inheriting the colonial legacy after taking independence in 1947. It is an overdeveloped state where the benevolent functions of the state mostly remain in doubt for the people, especially women and children, in the shape of lack of access to education, entertainment, social mobility and expression. Many institutions, organizations and individuals voice against this injustice to educate and mobilize people to demand from the state to redefine its policies and guarantee their rights. One of such organizations is Insan Foundation Pakistan. It is 1990 when a group of young people formed this foundation who wanted to change their society into a worth living place. Majority of people is uh, uh, peace loving and uh, they want a society that ensures the rights of uh, people. However, unfortunately, majority of people remain silent. Whereas we have seen that the children and youth constitute the portion of society that is always willing to take proactive uh, initiatives for the well-being of people. The organization deemed children and youth to be the most potential agents for change in the futuristic perspective. After long research and reflection, first practical community intervention design was with the laboring children in different parts of Lahore. Soon, Insan Foundation Pakistan realized that poverty was not the only factor in pushing the children into the labor phenomenon. It was the dull, meaningless and oppressive environment at schools that forced out a majority of these children out of schools. This school is coming in front of you. In the actual way, the schools will be made of the schools. Whereas the situation continues to remain so, added with poverty. In other many cases, the schools remain underutilized, misutilized, or simply don't exist because of the lack of interest of the state in expanding the base of human development sector. Now to make education attractively focused, objective and interactive was the real challenge for Insan Foundation. And alive to this, the organization employed several innovative techniques which could not only enhance the literacy skills of the underprivileged children but also enhance their critical consciousness about issues concerning them and society. For instance, Insan Foundation used newspaper as supporting curriculum. The newspaper was used so that young students find alphabets from the paper and join them into words and from words into sentences and then discuss what is going around in the world. Other than this, activities like drawings speeches, songs, celebrations of different ceremonies and indoor and outdoor matches of different sports were also started. But to talk them was undoubtedly the theater which had to take lead in advocacy initiatives of Insan Foundation in the coming years. <laughs> Later, other people also joined the Mystery Natak and the group transformed itself 
into a street theater to take the message to the people in parks, on the roadsides, at the bus stops and in the trains. It was a new turn in the life of the children who were denied the right to entertainment and expression. In the life of communities which never looked children's issues as closely as presented. and in the life of Insan Foundation, which started looking beyond child labor and addressing issues that trigger social menaces, such as gender discrimination, domestic violence, communal disharmony, peace, militancy, etc. In view of the coverage of wider issues, the group was now renamed as Insan Natik, or Humans Theater. People were no longer spectators now. They were engaged in dialogue and debate through a process of feedback and contemplation. Peace now, peace now, peace now, peace now, peace now. Back at East, with one day left before the Dove Day performance, Arif works with teacher Lin and her grade eights to tighten up a skit the students have just developed. In San Natik, with over a decade in practice, also now features as a training group. In 2002, it visited Canada. The students that are going to be performing right now are from the school called East Alternative School of Toronto. My name is Shaquille. I'm one of the teachers there. First of all, we have been working with Insan Foundation and they have done an amazing job to teach us a lot of what they know. And we've picked up a little bit and what you're, we're going to show you today are some of the skills that we picked up from them that our students have learned. <laughs> Nineteen ninety seven appeared as the most important year in the life of Insan Foundation. In this year, the organization analyzed its achievements and failures. In two thousand, Insan Foundation started capacity building training program for child rights. It was funded by the South Asia Partnership Pakistan and World War Canada. introduced many non-conventional and interactive training tools, one of which is IDRAG, a curriculum on child rights. This, card, this, this consists of a card game which speaks of child rights violations and UN conventions and the local Pakistani laws. Insan Foundation provided training of IDRAG to teachers, students and NGOs. जिस तरीके ਨਾਲ ਇਦਰਾਕ ਦੇ ਜ਼ਰੀਏ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਸੀਆਰਸੀ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਮਤਲਬ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਟ੍ਰੇਨਿੰਗ ਮਿਲੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਟੀਚਰਸ ਨੂੰ ਟੀਚਰਸ ਨੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਮੁਕੰਮਲ ਚੇਨ ਬਣੀ ਅਗਰ ਇਸੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਅਮਨ ਪੀਸ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਦਰਾਕ ਦੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਾਰਡ ਗੇਮਸ ਨਾਲ ਜਾਂ ਸੇਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਅਪਲਾਈ ਕਰੀਏ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਇਦਰਾਕ ਦੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਕਾਮਯਾਬ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਫਾਊਂਡੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ national education peace and tolerance program as one component of its next phase of capacity building training program there are three important aspects in this project 